Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Cord Nificent back here with you guitar interpretations and today we are doing the album Equals by Ed Sheeran. So we're gonna go through all the songs on the album, all 14 tracks, and I'm gonna teach you how to play them for the beginner, intermediate, and advanced player. Just make sure your guitars are standard tuning. Your strings should sound like this. Alright, once you have that out of the way, let's jump into first track, which is Tides. Alright, so we're gonna have our capo. It's originally composed in B flat, but that's not a basic chord, so we're gonna play it in with our capo on fret number four in G. Alright, so the chords are open, three, two, open, one, open, that's C, and then G is three, two, open, open, three, three. And then we have a D somewhere along the way, which is open, 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 two, three, two. Right, so starting right from the top, your intro is C to G. So that's gonna be My strumming pattern is basically um, for the intro, it's down, 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 and then as we go on, it changes to which is down, up, 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 down, up
that's the whole song. That's a, that's a pretty easy song, yeah, pretty easy one. And then the second song is Shivers, and I've already done that on my channel, but I'm just gonna go through it real quick for those of you that didn't watch that particular video. Okay, so kept on fret number two, and we're playing A minor, which is open, open, two, two, one, open. And then we go to F, this is F minor, which is one, open, three, two, one, open. And then we have C, open, three, two, open, one, open. And then we have a G, three, two, open, open, three, three. So we have um, A minor. If C, this is the beginner player to G. So that's and the intermediate player can play five, four, three, two for A minor. 6 4 3 2 for F and then again 5 4 3 2 for C and then for G uh, 6 4 3 2 all right and then the advanced player can play remain the same throughout the whole song but you can also play them as bar chords if you're advanced right uh, so that would be E minor F uh, C and G So that's that that is shivers moving on to the next song first times all right it's my first time hearing this one um, okay so pitch is kept on fret number one and we're playing it in G So G is three, two, open, open, three, three. A minor is open, open, two, two, one, open. And then E minor is open, two, two, open, open, open. That is your verse, okay? So the beginner player can just strum this, okay? So. That's your verse. I thought it feel different, playing when Lee. So you play that. Twice. This is now the third time. Okay, so you play that three times, and then the fourth time you change to. Um, you change to. C, D, and then 
E minor. So C is open, three, two, open, one, open. D is open, 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 two, three, two. E minor is open, two, two, open, open, open. Okay. So that's the fourth time. So you play G, A minor, E minor three times. And then you get into the C, D, E minor once. And then right after that, we get into. So let's find the chords for that. C and then D. E minor. G. So C. D. All right. So that ain't it funny how you is the chords for that. Let me just give them to you in a bunch. All right, so we have in sequence C, D, E minor, and then G. And then we're back to C, D, and then we're back to verse, okay? Actually, that's not the verse. It must be the chorus. So that was pre-chorus. The, the first kiss, the first. Twice. Three times. Times okay, so the fourth time it's the fourth time it's G, A minor, C, and then D. All right, and the other three times it's G, A minor, E minor, and then C. All right, so the beginner player will strum that. Let's just play from the beginning. Intro is just G, and then we get into G, A minor. E minor, C. C, D, and then E minor. Right? G, A minor, E minor, C for the second time. G, A minor. E minor, C the third time, and then C, D, E minor, right? And we get into C to D, E minor, and then G. This is pre-chorus, and then C again, D, and then this is now the chorus, G, A minor, E minor, all right, let's do the cor that chorus again. So G, A minor, E minor, and then C. You play this three times. Two, G, A minor, E minor. C, that's the three time. That's the third time. Just like that last part that I kept missing. C. Okay, so the last time it's G. A minor, C, and then D, and then we're already in that, which we're playing the chords from the verse, okay? So, this is now intermediate and advanced, and it's actually pretty simple, even beginners can play this. So you're just holding the same chords G, uh, A minor, and E minor, except you keep the 
you keep the third string open. So you play. So G, A minor, E minor, C, right? And everything else is the same. You're gonna strum the other parts apart from the verse and the chorus. So you can play this for D, which is C, cycle to frets 3 to 5. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this song. I need to clear my throat, excuse me. <coughs> Alright, uh, moving on to the next song, which is Bad Habits. And again, I, I think I've done this one on the channel. But if you haven't watched it, let's just go through it. So cap on second fret and we'll play in C. So the chords are A minor, open, open, two, two, one, open. And then C is open, three, two, open, one, open. And then we go to F, which is one, three, three, two, one, one. All right, and then we have a G somewhere, I think, which is three, two, open, open, three, three. If you want a detailed tutorial on how I do the, you'd have to watch the original tutorial to the song. But I'm just going to show you how to play it for the beginner. So this is your verse. That's A minor, G to F. So A minor, G, and then F. Or you can play A minor and then instead of G, E minor. All right, and then and then we go into chorus. Bad habits lead to A minor to C to F. So that's basically it for the beginner player. Um, advanced player, you're still gonna be playing on the same chords that intro, but yeah, you can check out my full tutorial to the song for that. Let's move on to, hold on a second. I think I skipped a song, uh-huh. First, wait, we did first times. Okay, so overpass gravity. Graffiti, sorry. Kind of a funky one. Okay, so we can play this without the cable. like a, a Dua Lipa song. Okay. All right, 
right, so let me give you the chords to this. Uh, for the verse slash intro, we're playing A minor. All right, just give me a sec. All right, so for the verse slash intro, we're gonna be playing uh, A minor. We have A minor to A minor to G to A. Open, open, two, two, one, open, and then G is three, two, open, 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 three, yeah, and then if in this case will be one, open, three, two, one, open, and then the pre-chorus, the pre-chorus is. <laughs> So that's G for that. G. And then if, and I've already shown you how to play those. And then chorus is C to G. And then D minor, which is open, 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 two, three, one. Right, and then we go back to if, to if that's the last chord. So C. All right. So now let's work on let's work on the strumming pattern. So. I guess a beginner, intermediate, and advanced will be playing the same thing on the song because it's based off of the strums. Okay, let me just rewind to the chorus. There we go. So. Down, down, up, up. 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 That's the same form. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So the, the one I just showed you is the one for the verse, and then this one is for your chorus, right? So you have up, up, down, down, 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 up, up, up. Okay, so for your chorus, at the end, you play G, and that's the... Baby, you will never get lost on me. And you're back on A minor. Right? And you're already playing what you were playing for your verse. Right? Which is A minor. And then you switch to G. And then you go to F.
right, so that is basically it. Uh, the Joker and the Queen. That's the next song, which is track number six. Okay. It's kind of sad. Okay, so we have C. T minor. Okay. So we're not going to be using the capo for this one. Uh, it's basically C to D minor. If and then we're back to C. C D minor. If C A minor and then if. Alright, so that's pretty much it. It's kind of like a sad song, but it's a love song. Listening to the words and everything. It's a beautiful song. Make sure you do learn it. Uh, for the advanced plucking that I was doing, uh, it's basically... Na, 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 na. Ooh, I almost dropped my phone. So sorry. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, so... your C which is open sorry which is five four two four two four two four so five four two four two four two four the only difference is the first two four is open on the second string and then the second one you hammer on that uh, second string first grade so that's switch uh, D minor A minor and then you do the same thing sorry if G now and it's pretty much the same thing uh, if you want me guys if you if you guys want me to do like a full detailed tutorial on this particular song with all the finger style and everything 
let me know in the comment section below and I will get to it. Uh, moving on to leave your life. Leave your life? Okay. I thought it should be live your life, but leave your life. Okay, so for this one, we're going to be having our capo on second fret. I'm still trying to piece the chords together. It's like a new wave coming in. <coughs> so we have... Definitely playing it in C. So chorus is C. To F. D minor. And then G. If I'm never gonna leave you G to if Alright, so that last part is if I'm never gonna G like A minor if G and then C. Alright, so now let's restart the song now that we, we have the chords pieced together. Uh just a quick one. C is open, three, two, open, one, open. G is three, two, open, open. Uh, a minor is open, open, two, two, one, open, and then D minor is open, two, three, one. Sorry, oh yeah, open, four, three, two, one. So that's X, X, open, three, two, one. And then F is one, two, two, sorry, one, three, three, two, one, one. Barring the first fret and playing E major in front of that. So let's go right from the start so this is the verse C Then we get into pre-chorus, which is hard to break. A minor, G, C, and then we go to F. A minor, G, C, and then we go to F. C. If, sorry, G to A minor. If, I'm never gonna G like. Sorry, actually C. So if, G, C instead of if, G, A minor. They're like interchangeable, but not for this song. D minor, that's your verse, all right? According to what I'm hearing in the second verse. C, if, D minor, and then G. What was the progression again? C. C, if, and then D minor. Alright, 
so that's that is that is it uh, moving on to again so you play this twice the C to F and then D minor G and then you move into F So that's pretty much it for this song. Let's move on to after leave your life. We have collide. All right. So that's track number eight. Track number eight. Let's... Oh yeah, track number eight. <laughs> So keep on for number five, and we're playing C. This is down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. So that's, there's no progression change anywhere, like a bridge or something. It's just going to be the same. Let me just make sure. So it's the same chords throughout. Uh, two step. Okay. It's got a catchy guitar riff intro. Okay, so we're gonna play this without the capo. So the chords are up, E minor, to D, to C, and then C again. So E minor, and then D, and then C. playing this 
So for my E minor, I'm hammering on the third fret. So it's gonna be third fret of the first string. So it's gonna be open, two, two, open, open, three, okay? So I'm plucking six, two, one, sorry, six, three, one, six, three, one, one, So 61, 1, 3. 61, 1, 3. Then you come to 7th fret and then you switch to D, which is 4, 3, 1, 3, 4, 3, 1, 1, 4, 3, 1, 1. And then C. Which is five three one five three one one five three one five three two and two you're hammering on the third fret of your second string so five three one one five three one five three two five three one one five three one and then D which is um, four three one and then you're back to E minor so D is like a transition so C Alright, so that's pretty much it, I guess, for the song. Let's just see if there's like a progression change somewhere, um, maybe a bridge or something like that. Okay, so stop the rain. Uh, this is track number ten. So we're going to put our capo on fret number three and play this in C, okay? Gosh. A minor, F, G. So that's A minor, F, G, and then D minor, right? A minor, F, G, D minor. And this is, this is like a basic way to play it. And what we're doing here is we're trying to, we're trying to keep it to the rhythm of the drum, okay? So your strum, if you can strum like really fast, almost like shredding, then you can do the... A minor, A minor, F, G, and then D minor. If you can't, then A minor, F, G, D minor. And then we move into, don't let the ones that hurt you see you cry. Um, and that part is, let me wait for it. F, G, minor G okay so that's that's your pre-chorus if G D minor G A minor if G Okay, so on the chorus, we're not going to be using D minor. Let me just, hold on, rewind. I want to get the... Can I stop the rain? Okay, so uh, it's A minor, if G, and then G again, okay? So we're not going to be switching to D minor. So pay attention to that. Can I stop the rain?
difference between the verse and the chorus is in the verse we're going to be adding a D minor. In the chorus we don't need the A minor, the D minor, sorry. In the verse we're going to be adding a D minor, in the chorus we don't need that. It's going to be G, G at the end. Okay, so the chords actually change midway. So let's let's keep playing. Second verse is the same as the first one. <laughs> and the pre-chorus and then... the second time set it right at the end uh, love in slow motion okay track number what 11 okay so I think Kepo is on nope okay so Kepo on frame number one and we're playing this in C So for this song, uh, I'm playing the intro, it's like advanced, intermediate, which is um, two, three, two, three, two, three, and then you hammer on, and then play three. So hammer on second, three. So hammer three, right? So two, three, two, three, two, three, hammer three, and the hammer is on second string, okay? So you do that and then your chords are C to G. I'm not sure if that's a D minor or A minor and then we go to F, which is the last chord. So let me just make sure of that part. So it's actually D minor. But you have to make sure you're not holding um, anything on the third string. For all chords. D minor to G, C, and then G. So that's D to, to F. Na, 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 na. Darling, 
doing? So you play that twice. If C and then G and then Okay, so for the, you do that twice and then you get into the chorus. The I wanna love tonight. Okay, so C, D minor, F. Okay. So C, D minor, F. That's your chorus, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now I wanna Okay, the last time is which is A minor G to F, okay? And then we're back to the the verse which is the same as the first one. It's been a while since you've been to me. That's your verse C to G. And then Minor. And then back to C right before we get into D minor to F C and then G. So you have three times the I wanna love tonight. That's C D minor F na, 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 na. the third time and then the fourth time you go A minor G and then F. There we go. And your strumming pattern is down down up, down down up, down down up, down down up. Let's just scroll to see if we have a progression change anywhere. But I highly doubt. Okay, so we, we don't have any progression change. Next song is Visiting Hours, number 12. I bet it's a sad one. Oh yeah, this is a song that went viral as a performance. Na 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 na. G. Na 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 na. E minor. C. Okay, so Kepo's on fret number one, and that was your verse. My strong pattern is down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. And because this is kind of like a calm, solemn song, you might want to strum it with your thumb instead of your index finger. Right, so. I was in heaven. G. Minor, and then C okay so that part for me is a C E minor D all right but here's how I'm playing it C is five four three two and then E minor is six four three two and then D is two open open two and I'm plucking strings six, four, and three. So that's. I wish that heaven, I wish that heaven. G. Hours. E minor. Na, 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 na. C. And then we go. All right, there we go. 
And uh, the chords that I'm playing are add nine chords, which I think for G would be a suspended tune. Yeah. The basic idea is I am holding on my strings one and two, I am holding third fret. So G and then E minor, but you maintain those uh, two and three strings. Except for this part, though, you can shift on that one. But for the other chords, you have to maintain that three and two. It's more like an advanced intermediate technique. Beginners, you can just play the chords as basic as they come. But yeah, it's good to learn, you know, because you don't want to be a beginner your whole life. All right, so. Na, na, na. C, this is now pre-chorus. G. So here, yeah, for the beginner, I'm playing the na -na 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 is to D and then to G. Okay, so I'm stretching the C stretching the D and then I go to G and then I'm back to D and you move into the which is just G C and then G alright and then let's see if we have a bridge no, 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 no. Okay, so the chords seem to be the same. So now for the advanced player, I'm gonna give you the chords for that. Na na na. Okay, so that's. Uh so for that, uh, there's that part where the th I think it's the third time where the chords just change into like a bunch of minors and the progression goes this part So that's C, and that's E minor, and then this is 
I don't know what chord this is. And then, sorry. I don't know what chord this is, but you're holding uh, fret number five and holding an A minor in front of that, so. And then down here, uh, you hold an A minor and uh, on fret number four you bar and then you hold an A minor in front of that so this should be a uh, if this is C this should be a D of some sort I don't know D major 7 D minor D suspended I don't know and this should be a uh, C sharp right and then you the everything else is the same Moving on to the song Sandman. Sounds like something from a Disney movie. Okay, so we're not going to be using the capo for that one because it's composed in C, so have. So uh, the the riffs there are five, three, one open, and then you have this three, two, one, one. So three, two, open, one on your second string, and the chords are C to G, A minor, and then F. So another one is open, three, one, three on your second string. So open is the first string. That's now an advanced way to play it. You just merge the chords with the riff and then you add the slap in there for just percussion and rhythm and um let's just check to see if we have a progression change anywhere nope all right so moving on to the next song be right now oh it's the last song okay say the best for the last so it's composed in B flat again. So we're gonna play it with our capo on fret number four, G. This is like a B minor seven, and I play it as open. Uh, the okay, the beginner way to play is open two, open two, three, open. But if you're advanced, you can bar the second fret and play an A minor in front of that. Okay. So the chords are, the rest of the chords are basic chords and they go. Okay, let me just restart the song because it's, okay, so straight from the top we have G, that B minor, and then we go to C, and then we stay on C. D 
minor 7, C, and then you stay on C. And my strumming pattern is down, 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 This must be the pre-chorus. C. stay on C. So you play that twice and the second time you stay on C. And then you're back to your So this is a shredding technique for the strum down up, down down up, down down up, down down up, down 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 up, down down up, down down up, down up, down up, down down up, down down up. It's actually hard to keep um, to keep up with my mouth, but it's just down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. All right, and that's pretty much it for that part. And then the pre-chorus, C, E minor to D. to the I don't want to miss one thing part and yeah that's pretty much the whole song the reason why I keep thinking this is a B chord is because it's actually structured in B flat like that's the root note but it's a B it's a is it a B minor 7 it's a D minor 7 it's substituted D all right so yeah that's pretty much it for this album guys um, do let me know in the comment section any new albums that you want me to check out. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video with your friends that play guitar or want to learn guitar. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in for the premiere and watching this video. I appreciate all your support. Peace out.